Hello everyone, a very very good evening to each and everyone out there and I welcome you all to this amazing platform of PW English and to your Super 30 batch. This is your man dedicated to Shivangi Rajput and in this particular video, that is in this particular lecture, we are going to start and end with one more chapter that is coordinate geometry that we will be completing in one single shot. So basically a lot of things have been deleted from these chapter like uh, centroid of triangle, area of triangle, collinearity, right? All these parts are deleted but we have distance formula and section formula. So these are two important things that we are going to do in this particular lecture in one single shot and with some important questions. So let's start by seeing what are the topics that we are going to cover. So we are going to cover out of introduction, distance formula, distance of point from origin, section formula, midpoint formula, centroid of triangle is not not there so we are not going to do it and some important questions from this chapter. So let's start with the coordinate geometry. What is coordinate geometry? So basically you might have called your friends multiple times alright show me your location. I'll come at your place alright show me your location and you share your location on whatsapp right. What is that location if we talk about in respect to earth? That is basically the positioning of latitudes and longitudes that we talk about right so this is again a coordinate geometry when we talk about things in a very smaller perspective so in our geometry part we solve it as in, as in your cartesian plane that is the x-axis and the y-axis acts as the longitude and the latitudes right so if i have to place any of the point i need to know the x coordinate that is the abscissa and the y coordinate that is the ordinate to place any points in that cartesian plane we already know that cartesian plane is divided into four different parts through this uh, axis that we have x axis and y axis so the four different quadrants we have is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and your respectively fourth quadrant so these are the four different quadrants that we talk about in this particular chapter so introduction part over here deals with that in this particular chapter only two things you have to study first is the distance formula right now what does this distance formula people that with the help of a formula we can calculate the distance between two coordinates that are given to us right and the other one is the section formula and we are going to learn about both of them right no centroid no area of triangle is coming from this chapter so just uh, we are sticking on what the subject is about so distance formula over here people for example we have a point a with the abscissas as well and the ordinate as y1 and we have another point b whose abscissa is x2 and ordinate is y2. So we can calculate the distance between these two points. For example, this is point A, x1 and y1. And over here we have another point B whose coordinates are x2 and y2. Right? So basically this distance AB can simply be calculated by using the distance formula that is under root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. So we just have to put a what is x2, the value of x1, the value of y2, the value of y1 and square it up to get the answer that we have. Alright, let's start by solving the question. The find the distance between these two points. As simple as that. Wherever you see the point, just mention x1, y1, x2 and y2 so that you do not make any mistake. So basically the distance between these two points can simply be calculated by a big under root. That to x2 that is 10 minus x1 that is 7 square plus y2 that is 9 minus y1 that is 13 and it's square. So simply I have written AB is equals to under root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Right. So this will simply becomes under root of 10 minus 7 that is 3 square. 9 minus 13 that is negative 4 square. You don't have to worry about the negative people because negative 4 square will anyhow turn out to be positive 16. So over here we will get 3 square is 9 minus 4 square is plus 16 and over here we get under root of 25 which will give us what 5 units. The distance is never negative people that's why we haven't taken plus minus 5. If it was any other point if I have to calculate either the abscess or the ordinate then I would have taken plus minus 5 for under root 25 but since it's the distance we just leave it as 5 units and the unit is basically unknown so we put only units. So the answer is simply 5 units. 
Let's move forward to the next question. Distance of a point from the origin. Now, this is again one or the other same thing, right? For example, if I have a y-axis, people, and an x-axis, right? A y-axis and an x-axis. So, if there is any point, for example, point A, with its coordinates as x1 and y1, right? If I have to tell what is the distance of this A point from the origin, we know that the coordinates of origin is 0, 0. We are already aware about that the coordinates of the origin is 0, 0. So, in this particular case, over here we know that this is x2 and y2, right? x2 and y2. Let's first of all simply put it in a very basic distance formula that we know that OA is equals to under root of x2 or we can say 0 minus x1 square plus 0 minus y2 square. Right? So, we have under root of 0 minus x1 square is x1 square. This becomes minus y1 square. Right? So, over here we simply have what? x1 or we can say just x square and y square. Since we are already aware about that the coordinates of the origin is 0, 0, that is going to make no difference. So, we just replace the value of x2 and y2 with 0 and 0 and we directly derive a formula for any distance that has to be calculated with origin for the distance of any point that is compared with respect to the origin. So, we simply use the formula of under root of x square plus y square instead of this whole formula. So, over here find the distance of the point P 6 comma minus 6 from the origin. So, we know that the distance of this point will be equals to under root of x1 square plus y1 square or we can say x square plus y square. 36 plus 36 we can say under root of 72. Now, under root of 72, we can prime factorize it and we will get 2, 36, we will get 2, 18, we will get 2, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. So, pair it, pair it. So, we will get 6 root 2, right? So, we will be getting 6 root 2. So, 6 root 2 is what we are getting as in inside. Right. So, this is what we will be getting 6 root 2 because pair of 2 and pair of 3 will come out and this is how we are going to solve it. The next thing that we have is find the value of y for which the distance between these two points is 10 units. Now, this is the same type of question with respect to distance formula but now the things which are they are asking is different. Over here, the distance is already given to you as 10 units. A and B point are given to you. Let's say this is x1, this is y1, this is x2 and this is y2. So, this simply becomes 10 is equals to under root of x2 minus x1 square, 11 minus 3 square plus y2 minus y1 square, y minus of minus 1 square. You can take this under root towards a uh, transpose it to 10 and you will be getting square. So, 10 square is equal to 11 minus 3 people that you will be getting 8 square plus y minus of minus 1 is y plus 1 whole square. So, 10 square is 100, 8 square is 64, bring it here and this will be equivalent to y plus 1 whole square. So, you will be getting 36 is equal to y plus 1 whole square. Now, this y plus 1 whole square, if you want to just expand it by using a plus b whole square, this is the one thing that you can do. And if you want to ease up the calculation, people, you can get this, you can transpose this square towards here and this will become under root. Under root of 6 is, under root of 36 is equal to y plus 1. So, now we can say that under root of 36 can be written as plus minus 6 is equals to y plus 1 people and y plus minus 6 over here, y plus minus 6 because over here this y is the coordinate, right? It is not the distance. So, coordinates can be negative as you can already see, right? So, we will take plus minus 6. Now, we have to expand for both the cases people. That is plus 6 is equals to y plus 1 and over here minus 6 is equals to y plus 1. So, from here the value of y comes out as 5 and from here the value of y comes out as 
negative 7. So these are both the values of y that can satisfy the given condition of this question. Right. I hope this thing is clear with everyone. Let's move forward to the next question. Now the question says if point this that is p k minus 1 comma 2 is equal distance from the points a and b find the value of k. What does that mean? There lies a point p. Right. It is equal distance from a and b. What are the coordinates of a? 3 comma k. What are the coordinates of b people? k comma 5. And the coordinates of P are K minus 1 comma 2, right? So, we know that distance PA is equivalent to distance PB. This is what is already given to us in the question that PA is equivalent to PB. So, what we can say over here is that means distance of PA. What is distance of PA people? It is equivalent to under root of X2. For example, if we are taking this as X1 y1 this is x2 and y2 right so what we can say x2 minus x1 square x2 minus x1 square plus y2 that is k minus y1 square now which is equal to the other distance that is there mentioned in the question pb now for example this is x2 and y2 now this becomes under root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Since both the places around the under root has, uh, uh, around the equal to has under root. So, we will cancel the under roots and this becomes 3 minus k plus 1 square plus k minus 2 whole square is equivalent to k minus k plus 1 whole square plus 3 square. We have just opened up the brackets people and we have just cancelled out the under root that was there on both the sides. Right. So, over here we have what 4 minus k whole square plus k minus 2 whole square which is equals to 1 square plus 3 square that is 9. Let's put the value of a minus b whole square. So, after putting the value of a minus b whole square, we get a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b plus a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b is equivalent to 10. Right. So, we get a quadratic equation from here. How can we solve this further? So, we have k square plus k square is 2k square. Right, k square and k square. Then we have minus 8k minus 4k minus 12k. Then we have 16 over here and plus 4 that is plus 20. Bring this minus 10 over here equivalent to 0. Take 2 common from everything. So we will get k square minus 6k plus 5 is equals to 0 because 20 minus 10 will give you 10 and 2 common from 10 is 5. So, we have a quadratic equation that is k square minus 6k people and after that we have a plus 5 equivalent to 0. Alright, so we can say 5 and 1. So, k square minus 5k minus k plus 5 is equivalent to 0 as we have already solved it by middle term splitting in quadratic equation. So, let's take k common from here. So, we will get k minus 5. Let's take 1, minus, 1 common from here. So, we will get k minus 5 equivalent to 0. So, k minus 5 as common again people k minus 1 in the other bracket equivalent to 0. From here k minus 5 is equals to 0. Either k minus 1 is equals to 0. So, the value of a comes out as 5 and the value of k comes out as 1. So, these are the two different values of k that satisfies the given equation and the all the conditions that are there in the given equation. Let's move forward to the next question people. I hope that you are able to understand. All right. So, distance uh, basically any point on the x axis. So, we have already learned it in junior classes class 9 that if any point is there which is lying on the x axis, that means its x coordinate is something and its y coordinate is 0. For the next thing, if we have that there is any point which is lying on the y axis, so its x coordinate is 0 and its y coordinate is something. So, this is what we have to remember. So, that certain type of questions might come like these, right? 
So let's see the next part. Find those points on y axis. Now there are some points or there is one point that is already present on the y axis. And if that point is present on the y axis, that means it has to be of the form 0 comma y. Right? That simply means it has to be of the form 0 comma y. Right? Because any point which is lying on the y axis is always and always of the form 0 comma y. Now it is saying for which uh, is at a distance of 13 units from a point A. Right? So we have one point as 0 comma y, the other point is this and the distance is given to us. Let's take this as x1 and y1. Let's take this as x2 and y2. So we know that the distance, right? The distance will be simply that is 13 units is equals to under root of people x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. So we have 13 square just transpose this under root towards 13, right? Right. So over here we have 13 square which is equivalent to 0 minus of minus 5 square that is 5 square plus y minus 7 so, sorry this will become 5 square plus y minus 7 whole square. So over here 13 square is 169, 5 square is 25 it will go and subtract here which is equals to y minus 7 whole square. So over here we have 144 is equals to y minus 7 whole square. Now the same thing people are ask you that if you want to expand y minus 7 by using a minus b whole square, go ahead, be free to do that. But if you want to save your time up for the calculation, you can just transpose it, right? So this will become under root of 144, which is equals to y minus 7. This will become plus minus 12 is equals to y minus 7. Now take both the conditions. <coughs> That is plus 12 is equals to y minus 7 and minus 12 is equals to y minus 7. Right. So from here you will get 12 plus 7 that will give you 19. From here you will get y is equals to minus 5. So these are the two different values of y that will satisfy all the conditions that are given in this particular question. So this is how you are going to solve it and I hope that you are able to understand the language of the question. Let's jump to the next part where we are going to deal with the section formula. So when we talk about the section formula people that simply means that there lies a line on which lies a point that splits that line into two different ratios. Right. So over here we are going to learn about what is it. So let's see for example we have a line. Right. We have a line. Let's say this is point A. This is point B and somewhere over here came a point P. Right, which splitted, which divided this line into the ratio, for example, 2 is to 3. Let the coordinate of this be x1, y1. Let the coordinate of b be x2 and y2. Let the coordinate of one point be x1, y1 and let the coordinate of the other point is x2, y2. So simply, and let's say that the coordinates of p are unknown, that is x and y. So we can calculate this x coordinate and let's say that this ratio is m1 and this ratio is m2. So we can simply use the formula that is known as m1 x2 plus m2 x1 upon m1 plus m2 and we can find out the y coordinate of this point p as m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2 as simple as that. Wherever there is m1, x2, m1, y2, where there is m2, x1, y2, uh, m2, y1, right? So wherever m is 2, y is 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. This is what you have to remember. Let's jump to the question. The question says, find out the coordinate of the point P, which divides the line segment joining this in the ratio of 3 to 2. So simply what we are given people, there is a line. Right, that is line A and line B, a uh, point A, point B. This is 4 comma minus 3. Over here it is 9 comma 7. It is divided by a point P in a ratio 3 is to 2. That means this becomes our M1 and this becomes our M2. Now simply we just have to put the values in formula. Before that just write down X1 over here, Y1 over here. 
x2 over here and y2 over here. So these are the things that we have to take care of. Right? So these are the things that we have to take care of. Just put now simply in the formula. So why is it important to write the x1, y1, y, x2, y2 so that you don't get confused while doing it in the question. So x coordinate of this point P, for example, let its coordinate be x. So we can find out x by m1, that is 3, into x2, that is 9, plus m2 into x1 upon m1 plus m2. As simple as that, right? The same thing that we can do is y is equals to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2, right? So this is what we have to do in this particular part. Now y will be equivalent to 7 into 321 plus 2 minus 6 and over 5. 21 minus 6 is people 15 by 5. That will give you the y coordinate or we can say ordinate as 3. 3 into 9 is 18 plus 4 into 2 is 6 upon 3 and 2 is 5. So from here we get 18 plus 6 that will give you 24 by 5. So the coordinates of this point P turns out as 24 by 5 comma 3. I hope that uh, this is easy for you to do. This was like helpful. Right, 9 comma 7 we have and the other points that we are having. Right, all right, all right, wait, 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 over here it's 9 into 3, 27, sorry, 27 plus 6 upon 5, that will give you 34 by 5. The next we have is over here 7 into 3, 21 minus 6, 15 by 5, so let's cross check it. So we have taken M1, Y2 plus m2 into y1 right upon m1 plus m2. So 7 into 3, 21, 21 minus 6 will give you 15 by 5, that is 3. So over here we will be having 35 by 3, 5 and 7. So the final points P will be 7 comma 3, right? All right. Let's move forward to the next part, people. Find the coordinates of the point of trisection. Now, people just imagine that trisection is splitting anything into three equal parts. And when you have to split anything into three equal parts, you have to put two blades. For example, you have a banana and you have to, you know, distribute it equally into three of your friends, like you and two more. So, you just put one and two. Two slits, right? So, two slits results in three sections. So, over here we have, let's say there are two points A and B, right? And to trisect it, trisect over here means to split it into two equal parts, you have to put one blade here or we can say you have to put one cut here and one cut here, right? For example, let's say this point is P and let's say this point is Q. So, trisection means all these are equal parts. So, all these three parts are divided into three equal parts and you call that three equal parts as three different ratio. That is one is to one is to one. Right? This is one thing that we are going to do. All right. So, now when we have trisection, so basically over here we just have to put three different things. Now, we just imagine that, for example, let's forget that there is this Q, right? So, if this part over here is 1, this is 1 and this is 1, so this whole will be 2. So, whenever there is a trisection, people, the ratio is always formed as 1 is to 2 or 2 is to 1, right? So, for the point P, let's say this A point is 7 comma minus 2 and this B point is 1 comma minus 5. Right, so we have two different points that is 7 comma minus 2 and 1 comma minus 5. So let's see, so this becomes our x1, this becomes our x2, sorry y1, this becomes our x2 and this becomes our y2. Right, so over here now first of all let's focus for point P. So, for point P, let's say P is x comma y and the ratio that is 1 comma 2, right? So, the coordinate of x that is P will be equivalent to m1 that is 1 into x2 that is 1 plus m2 into x1 
upon m1 plus m2 and the y coordinate will simply be given by your m1 that is 1 y2 minus 5 plus m2 into y1 upon m1 plus m2. So we have 1 7 into 2 14 by 3 15 by 3 that will give you 5. Over here we have minus 5 minus 4 by 3 minus 9 by 3 that will give you minus 3. So the coordinates of P people comes out as simple 5 comma minus 3. Right. Same thing we can do for Q. But when we are finding it out for Q, now your M1 will be 2 and your M2 will be 1. The ratios will be switched because now Q lies over here. So for Q, this part is 1 people and this part is 2. So that's why now it becomes 2 is to 1. Right. Okay. Now let's put and find out the value of X. That is M1. That is 2. M1 X2 plus m2 into x1 upon m1 plus m2 and y coordinate simple m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2. So we have 7 plus 2 9 9 by 3 3 we have minus 10 minus 2 minus 12 by 3 that is minus 4. So the coordinates of q are 3 comma minus 4. So this is how we are going to calculate it for Try section part. The next thing that we are having over here is midpoint formula. Now, the midpoint formula is simple, people. When two points are given to you, the middle point, you have to find the midpoint of both for both of them. So, midpoint will be equals to x1 plus x2 by 2, y2 plus y1 by 2. How do we use to calculate the class mark when the class interval is given? Class mark is upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. Same midpoint. See the question. The question says, the midpoint of the line segment is this. Find the values of A and B. So, we know that this is point A. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. So, we know that the midpoint is given by x1 plus x2 by 2 people. The midpoint is already given as 1 is equals to x1 plus x2 by 2. Similarly, y is equals to y1 plus y2 by 2, right? What is y1 over here 4? What is y2 over here 3b divided by 2 and it is 2a plus 1. Now, let's put the values, right? Let's take 2 over here. So, this will become 2 is equals to 2a minus 2. 4 is equals to 2a and the value of a comes out as 2. Now, let's put the value of a as 2 over here. So, this will become 2 into 2 plus 1 is equals to 4 plus 3b upon 2. Let's take it here. 2 twos are 4. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 into 2, 10 is equals to 4 plus 3b. 3b is equals to 6 and the value of b comes out as 2 again. So, the value of a is also 2 and the value of b is also 2. So, this is how you are going to solve it up and do it. I hope that this thing is clear with everyone. Let's jump to some more questions for practice. This is what is going to come from this chapter. Very easy peasy distance formula, midpoint formula, section formula, trisection. These four things you have to put command on. The distance of the point, this from x-axis. Now, we know people that if any point is lying on the x-axis, it will be of the form x comma 0. Right, it will be of the form x comma 0. So, if it is of the form x comma 0 and there lies any point other than this that is p 2 comma 3. Let's say this is x1 and y1 and this is x2 and y2. So, what will be the distance people? Under root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square which is equivalent to right which is equivalent to simply that is all right the distance of the point p2 comma 3 from the x axis right over here you can do it without even using the distance formula see how see how what they are asking let's first of all draw it you have an x axis you have a y axis right there lies a point p and over here it is saying 2 comma 3. Over here we don't have to find the value of x because the distance is not given to us. We are just asked the perpendicular distance, right? Now this is the point that is 2 comma 3 and we have to check for its distance from x axis. 
सो पीपल दिस दिस पॉइंट पी टू का मत थ्री इज वन टू थ्री फ्रॉम हेयर एंड वन टू फ्रॉम हेयर सो वॉट इज इट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द एक्स एक्सेस दैट इज द डिस्टेंस ऑन द वाई एक्सेस विच इज थ्री यूनिट्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी थ्री यूनिट्स from the x axis the next question that we have the distance between these two points very simple people just pq distance under root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square which is equals to under root of 3 square minus 4 square is 16 9 plus 16 under root people that will again give you under root of 25 and under root of 25 is simply Five units. So option number B will be the correct answer for the question. Let's see the next question, people. Over here we had the points minus five comma one, one comma p, four comma minus two are collinear if the point P is. So this question is deleted basically. But if you want to try, you can do it in homework, right? But there was no need. Collinearity that means area is zero, which is deleted. The next question says the distance of the point alpha and beta from the origin. So we know that for any point, if we have any point P. That is alpha comma beta. Its distance from the origin will simply be x square plus y square. That is under root of alpha square plus beta square. Option number D, people, will be the simplest correct answer for this question. Let's move forward to the next question, people. The question over here says. The line segment of this this is trisected. The coordinates of the point of trisection, right? The line segment of this this point is trisected. So let's see, people. Let's see that there is a line. The coordinate over here is a, right? That is three comma minus one, and the other coordinate is b. That is. Minus six comma five. We know that if it is trisected, uh, trisected, there exist two points P and Q, and for P the ratio will be one is to two, and we know that for Q the ratio will be two is to one. Now we just have to put the values and find it up. Let's say x one, y one, x two and y two. M one and M two. Just specify it for your own convenience, right? You have to specify it for your own good. So let's say that the x coordinate will be M one into x two plus M two into x one upon M one plus M two, and y coordinate will be M one y two plus M two. Y one upon m one plus m two, so minus six plus six minus six plus six upon three is zero. We have five minus two by three. Five minus two by three is one. So one point P comes out as zero comma one. All right. All right. Now we have to check for Q. Let's check for Q, people. And when we are checking up for Q, so now the ratio becomes two is to one. Now m one and m two are different. So for x, it is m one that is two into x two plus m two into x one upon m one plus m two. And for y coordinate, it is m one y two plus m two into y one. Upon m1 plus m2, so over here we have minus 12 plus 3 by 3. Minus 12 plus 3 is minus 9 by 3. Minus 9 by 3 is minus 3. From here we have 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 by 3 is plus 9 by 3. So the coordinates of Q comes out as 3 minus 3 comma 3. So coordinates of P are not given. They have given the coordinates of Q that is minus 3 comma 3. Option number B again for this question will be the correct answer for the question, right? I hope that this thing is clear with everyone. Let's move forward to the next question. The next question says the distance between A and B. Now the values of A and B are quite complicated. So let's write it down. It is A 
a plus b comma a minus b and it is for b it is a minus b comma a minus b now let's put the values people that this is our x1 this is our y1 it is very important very very important to write it down if you don't write it down so much x1 y1 x2 y2 m1 m2 so much 1 2 1 2 1 2 will make your mind go cross right so it is very 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 suggestible to write it down so let's say that the distance between a b is calculated as under root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square so this simply becomes people under root of a minus b minus a minus b square plus a minus b minus a plus b square right i hope that this thing is clear with everyone that x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 so from here people a and a will get cancelled out minus b minus b will give you minus 2b square and over here b and b a and a everything will get cancelled out and you will get 0 square so minus 2b whole square under root of minus 2b whole square will give you 4b square and 4b square will result as 2b so what is the distance between these two points simply the distance between these two points is given as simple to be the next question that we have is if this is the midpoint of the line segment joining find the value of a this is the midpoint of both of them so basically a by 3 is equals to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and we have 4 is equals to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So from here we can say a by 3 minus 8 by 2. Minus 8 by 2 is minus 4 and the value of a comes out as negative of 12. The value of a comes out as negative of 12. The next question we have is people, the distance between this is given and we have to find for the value of x. What is the distance that is already given to us? It is 5 units. Right, the a coordinate is x comma minus 1 and the b coordinate that we have is 3 comma 2. So we know that the distance a b people can be calculated as under root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square right what is our x1 people here y1 x2 and y2 so this is under root of x2 that is 3 minus x whole square plus y2 that is 2 minus of y1 whole square so this is equivalent to you can take the under root to the opposite side. So this will become people 5 square is equals to 3 minus x whole square plus over here it will become 2 minus of minus 1 3 square right. So you have 25 minus 9 is equals to 3 minus x whole square and you can write this as 3 minus x whole square is equivalent to 16. Now again the same thing people if you want to expand 3 minus x whole square as a minus b whole square do that a square plus b square plus 2ab but again transpose this it will be easier for you under root of 16 and since it is a coordinate people so we have to take both the values as plus minus 4. So 3 minus x is equals to plus 4 and 3 minus x is equals to negative 4. So over here the value of x comes out as negative 1 and from here the value of x comes out as positive 7. So x 7 comma minus 1 option number D will be the correct answer for the question and that's why I'm telling you you have to take both the values when you are 
solving it so this was all about the chapter people it's a very easy peasy chapter now if no area formula is required no center of triangle is required in case some of you might get center of triangle so the formula is simple x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 upon 3 will give you the center of triangle right so i hope let's just have a quick recap so initially we learned about the importance of coordinate geometry so to find out the position and after that finding out the position of two different points we can calculate the distance between those two points so the distance between both the points can be calculated as under root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square this is the distance formula then we learned about midpoint formula that is for the midpoint we have x1 plus x2 by 2 y2 plus y1 uh, y1 plus y2 upon 2. After that, we also learned about that if we have to calculate the distance from the origin of any point, so that can simply be calculated as under root of x square plus y square because origin, the coordinates are 0, 0. The next thing that we learned about is if any point is present on the x-axis, we take it as 0, comma, uh, x, comma, 0. And if any point is present on the y-axis, we take it as 0, uh, 0 as the x-coordinate, that is 0, and y is something 0, comma, x, y. Right? So both of these are the coordinates of x-axis and y-axis. And after that, we learned about the section formula. And in that trisection section formula, the formula is simple. For the x-coordinate, is m1, x2 plus m2, x1 upon m1 plus m2. And for y-coordinate, it is m2 plus m2, y m1 by 2 upon m1 plus m2 so over here this was all about the chapter and i hope that everything is clear with you if you have any doubts feel free to drop down till then take care have a great time ahead i'll see you in the next class with one more one shot of another chapter so bye bye thank you so much